Okay, so that's we chat to Varishi and welcome to uh, something I'm a little little uh, something that's a little different that I'm going to do. And um, that's uh, right now I'm showing you a replay of the Battle of Ostwitz, which is a historical battle in a Napoleon Total War. And I thought I would show you a replay for two reasons. One, uh, because I wanted to uh, you know, give some commentary about the actual game itself, and I think it would be hard to do that while I'm commanding these guys to actually do, um, you know, general, while I'm actually commanding them to fight and stuff. And, uh, uh another reason why I'm doing this is because a lot of people want to see land battles in, uh, Napoleon Total War. And I think, uh, in my British campaign, I'm a long way off from land battles. And so far, this is probably the, uh, my favorite, um, battle that I've done. Uh, historical battle, that is. So the first thing I do is I take, um, four units that I have here. This is, uh, some Grenadiers of the Line, uh, Fusiliers of the Line, uh, two Fusiliers of the Line, and some National Guard. I take these four units, I use them to sneak up on the Austrians' flank. And, uh, the Austrians are, have on this hill a bunch of line units, line infantry units, that I didn't see because they're hiding in these trees. The Russians stand atop this hill and are bombarding uh, this little town. This little town is the town they're going to attack and it's only defended by um, by some 12 pound artillery and uh, there's also some uh, some horses that are put in these trees and a regiment of fusiliers of the line and national guard both of which are highly experienced but uh, the Russians are going to try and attack this town and take it and then try and roll through the flank. Well, I'm going to do uh, the uh, pretty much same thing. Take these four units of infantry, try and uh, roll through the Austrians, and uh, take these heights, which is the the main overarching goal of this battle. And um, so, uh, let's look at some of these units here. The units um, in this game, I think, look so much better. Oh shit, here's my, my artillery. One of them uh, took a hit. But uh, as we zoom in on some of these units, I think they just look so much prettier than they do in Empire Total War. There's more facial variations, as you can see. And, um, the uniforms look better, the animations are better, and just overall, it's just a, a much, much prettier game. I'm not running it on the highest settings. Um, I can, but not while recording. While I'm recording, I have to turn things down so that things aren't a choppy mess. But regardless, um, these are on high settings, not on highest, but regardless, the things still look absolutely gorgeous. As, I, as you can see, um, now we're cannonball strike, there's imprints left in the ground. And, uh, Of course, explosive shells and uh, musket fire look considerably nicer in this game. And um, I guess I should still talk about the rest of these armies here. Here's Napoleon over here. There's a guy. Here's his uh, general's bodyguard, and there's Napoleon right there. Uh, zoom right. Oh no! Oh no! I'm halfway into his face right now. Well, there he is. Here's Napoleon in his goofy hat with his general's bodyguard. Over here, we've got some, uh, Crusaders, Crusaders, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I do not speak French. Some more Fusiliers of the line. National Guard, which are basically like, uh, a militia. And, uh, Fusiliers, National Guard. And I got two units of elite Marmalukes on this battle for some bizarre reason. Quite a random place for Marmalukes to be fighting in the uh, snowy regions of Germany. Oh, I should go over here. So here's my um, four units. They're setting up in a battle line here to deal with the Austrian threat on the flank. And you can see them. For some reason it seems that there's no more fire by rank, which kind of confused me. And, uh... Austrian cavalry charge, as you can see, although uh, they do not have enough units or enough momentum to really force us back. And you can see that they're uh, dealing some damage. He killed this poor fellow here. 
and they're gonna pull back. And I'm gonna set these guys up to uh, try and shoot them in the back. I'm gonna have these guys continue to move up the hill. These are more fusiliers in the line. Uh, I think uh, these guys get away, so I counter charge them with some them, some Marmalukes to kill him. As you can see, um, I think the effects from the rifles look much much better in this game. And uh, just the whole there being no longer any um. Fire by rank just kind of confuses me, but anyway, I think I broke off and I decided I'm going to send these guys up the hill to deal with some more German fusiliers who are... I like the hats in this game, I gotta say, I just think the hats are awesome. Like, look at these hats! Badass, dude! So I'm going to, of course, uh, have <laughs> the uh, these two regiments, fusiliers and grenadiers, coming from behind deal with them. And over on this, I totally ignored this flank. I totally almost forgot that it existed. This was a hard battle because there was just a lot of shit going on all the time. But I forgot about this flank and uh, of course you can see uh, the Russians marching over. And the Russians look badass. Like these, these uniforms are look awesome. I gotta say. As you can see our two lines over here. Being that's all uh, Take a shot at us, and uh, we're gonna exchange fire. And I know I should have like charged with my cavalry, but I was busy over here dealing with these uh, these Austrian guys, trying to surround, uh, surround them and kill them. And you can see also over here we got a cavalry fight going down. My Marmalukes have charged these uh, Austrian cuirassiers, cuirassiers, and uh, are dealing with them. I forgot about this one. And they're gone. But I decided, eh, I'll, I'll, I'll let it slide. I gotta, I gotta focus on this flank. And I gotta say, uh, the, they still have uh, advanced by fire or whatever it's called. Which I think is probably a beneficial to have, although most units don't even have it. Anyway, um, Uh, I, I think the AI is definitely noticeably better in this game. Definitely uh, a large improvement over uh, over Empire Total War. And uh, they still do some weird things. You'll see some weird things happen a little bit later in the battle. But definitely nothing to the extent of uh, what happens in Empire. I think these guys could probably do something a little bit more threatening with their units than what they're doing now. And uh, force these Austrians to flee. And over on this flank, we've got uh, some some melee battles going down. You might also notice a whole lot of a whole lot more melee animations. You can stop by and uh, watch some of this battle for a little bit. Like um, I just I, I just noticed something. Uh, a while back, like, um, I saw that, uh, one of my guys stabbed another guy out of a horse, out of a horse, but the horse was still alive, and it just kind of ran away, and ran somewhere else, and then I, I, I sent in more of my cavalry to try and deal with these guys, while at the same time, trying to fight over here on this hill against the Austrians, and then I had some grenades into their ranks. Damage. And the Austrians at this point decide they're going to charge, which was actually a really good move because it managed to almost rout my entire entire regiment over here. What was this? Oh yeah, my Marmalukes apparently ran, and there's some uh, cavalry battles going on here against the Russians. The Russians are now pushing into my main lines, and I didn't even figure this out. <laughs> For most of the battle, I was too busy uh, focusing on, on over here. Like, uh, we were routing the Russians over here. We had pushed them back with my cavalry charge. Then uh, I realized the Russians were skirmishing my front line with some cavalry. 
However, they didn't have anywhere near enough troops to uh, actually push in and do some real damage. Especially because uh, I had these cannons. I'm not sure if they're on Grape Shot or 